What's up, guys? Dustin Newby here, back with the Nashville Predators gym mode. And, uh, yeah, so we've been uh, struggling a bit. We're at uh, January 1st. I'm going to try and get to the trade deadline today. Um, I went through and tr changed up the line. Some of you guys suggested some things like uh, getting Evander Kane. Um, that would be a good suggestion. However, I can only go for that at the trade deadline. Um, currently, I can't because of the rules we have set in place. I can only trade for green players from other teams. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to put uh, on the trading block, however. Uh, once. First line forward. I'm going to do this for now. And somebody else told me to try and get... I don't even know. I think somebody said to get Stamkos, but there's no way I have anything to offer up Stamkos. I actually looked at the trade for Winnipeg just to, just to check it out. And Winnipeg's cap is just so high. Um, I had to, like... Retaining cap doesn't even work in this game half the time. I don't know why it doesn't. It's strange. Because um, I tried to do it with Winnipeg to see if I could possibly get Evander Kane. But, like, retaining... Because Hornquist and um, Stahlberg, yeah, their their caps combined is, like, $9 million, I think. It's freaking ridiculous. They are so expensive. But, um... Those, yeah, so it's kind of silly, but first round, we don't want to get rid of that, just in case, just in case we end up blowing the season. Um, Fisher, Forsberg, Gostad, Granlin, Hagelin, uh, Hornquist, and I think it's $9 million. I'm not entirely positive. They're, they're way too expensive, though, for what, they, what they're worth. Uh, yeah, 4. T uh, oh, sorry, 7 million. 4.25 million and 3 million. Like, th these guys are so expensive. It's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, like, just... Uh, I tried to look at first-line forwards, but there's no way I'm getting a first-line forward ever. Um, the two guys I were looking at were Jeff Skinner and Evander Kane. They're both 86s. Uh, they're both uh, four... I think they're both four and a half stars. But see, the thing is, like, they're expensive enough to for me to trade at least one of these guys... But both, like, both teams are very close to the salary cap. So just to try and get one of them is just like impossible, almost. But I mean, that would be a sick first line if we had uh, um, uh, Heglin, uh, Wilson, and then, you know, like a, like a Jeff Skinner or Vander Kane. That'd be unbelievable. But for now, I'm just going to do it like this. See if we get any offers, hopefully. Um, and then also, I changed the lines... Um, I guess I don't really need to go to roster moves. Uh, coaching, edit lines. I changed the lines like this. So we got Hagelin, Wilson, Hornquist, uh, Silverberg, Granlin, Fisher. I put Silverberg back on his left wing. He's a right-handed shot, but I put him on the left wing just to see if maybe that helps. Fisher is a center, so he can go around anywhere. Granlin's a better face-off man than Fisher, but that way we got a 2A forward playmaker, sniper. And then this line, I put LeBlanc center because he's a centerman. And then Cerveni and Stahlberg. So they're pretty even out lines, like... Playmaker, power forward, sniper, sniper, playmaker, two-way forward, sniper, playmaker, power forward. So, Oh, geez. Um, yeah, so, and then somebody else said to switch Weber and Jones. I'm not going to do that. They're our best D pairing. I know they're not doing that great, but I'm thinking it's because of our offense. Our offensive lines are just playing like crap, so um, I'm just going to leave that for now. We turned off goalie rotation last time as well. Uh, I also changed up the power plays to reflect our new line, so I put Haglin, Wilson, Hornquist, Silverberg, Granlin, Fisher. I took uh, Cerveni off the power play. I don't know. I think <clears throat> this is pretty much some of the best we can do right now. Uh, Wilson, Haglin, Granlin, Hornquist. See, I don't even know what to do with those lines, man. Wilson, Haglin. I'd almost rather put Haglin center and have him with Hornquist. Like that, maybe. I know none of them are good at center, but. You know, Hagelin and Hornquist, probably the better bet. Uh, PK is not doing too bad, honestly. It's doing all right. And that's not bad. Wait, who's... Yeah, Gosted. Um, actually, you know what? I should put uh, Wilson as the centerman here. Oh, no, actually, sorry. Gosted's a better centerman. What am I thinking here? Okay, so yeah, we're going to do that for now. I don't know. I'm just trying stuff now. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to keep Rene in for a bit just to try and get some wins here. Um, maybe I'll go to the All-Star game just with a straight Rene in it, and then after that I'll kind of rotate maybe. 
All right, let's let's go here. All right, we got to get back on track here. This is just not good. We got to win against Colorado, but one nothing, you know. Oh my god, a 5-1 loss. Like I just don't understand. I don't get it. I'm trying everything right now to get some wins. I don't know if changing the lines up really screws up your team or something, but my god, we just can't win a game. Oh, there we go. Thank god. But yeah, just I don't know what's going on with our team. We're just playing like garbage. Um Oh, there we go. We beat Chicago. Like it's just those division games. If we we need to just win all of them, you know? Um, the division games are huge. Cause, I mean, you want to obviously beat your division teams, but you also want to be ahead of them in the standings. So, all right. Oh, come on, Florida. Gee. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Haglin's not really doing a whole lot. I thought he'd be like a all-star in that first line, but no trade offers in a while. Try change. No, I'm not changing my. I just changed my freaking trading block for God's sakes. Okay, at least we're back to 500. That's good. Oh, I don't know what's going on, man. But yeah, I don't know. Hopefully, spreading out the lines a bit more. I, I, somebody like I kind of understand what you're saying when you said we don't really have a, a first line sniper. We don't. Like you know, Haglin's. I mean, uh, Hornquist isn't bad. He's an 83, but he's not a first line, you know, sniper by any means. I just kind of figured at least some of the snipers we have would maybe put some goals in. You know. All right, so it seems we're working all right so far. Got a couple losses, but we're we got we're a win ahead of losses now, which is <laughs> better than we were doing. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're starting to get a few wins here. I don't, I really don't think there's any way we can get forty wins at this point. There really isn't. We need we need eighteen wins. Oh, I guess we could, technically. Yeah. We're at, what, 48 games right now? Yeah, we could technically get to 40 wins, but I think it'll be difficult, <laughs> personally. All right, let's do the All-Star game here. Do -do 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 -do. Would you like to stop the simulation and play? Yes. Yes, I would. Okay, so let's look at the East first. So the East has Ovechkin, Datsuk, Nash. That's a <laughs> that's a filthy line. Uh, Van JVR, Stamkos, Neal, Patcher, Eddie Giroux, Marchand, Ennis, Stahlberg, Versteeg, McDonough, Carlson, Murray, Green, and Jelena Hamanick. In net they got Anderson, Holpe, and on our team, the West we have Barchi, Taves, Perry, uh, Haglin, Couture, Eberle. Nice Haglin made it. Sedin, Sagan, Richards, Roy, Little, Nuge, uh, deep pairing Bufflin, Schultz, Gormley, Giordano, Barry, Spurgeon, and in net we got Quick and Lawanga. Lawanga. Whoa, Lawanga. All right. <laughs> there we go. Let's sim the game. So at least we're getting some wins there. I don't know if I want to keep. Uh, if I want to keep Rene in net. <laughs> JVR, yeah, let's just do times eight. Doesn't matter. All right, second period, so it's one nothing for the uh, East. All right, Datsuk in the third period, two nothing for the East, three nothing Datsuk on the power play. Taves, Sagan, and that's it. All right, three two win for the East. I think I don't know. You know what? One of the biggest things I'm hoping for NHL 15, which is it's next gen. We have more power in the in the console to do things i would love to see like cinematics or cutscenes in gm modes or live the life um i mean frick games do it on current gen like ps3s and ps4 or uh, xbox 360s they do it for like nba um, i would love to see like a lottery draft i would love to see you know the actual like uh how they have it now so the captains pick the teams uh, you know, like stuff like that, I, or even the draft, like the draft, the draft itself. Um, I don't even know. There's so many cool things. Or maybe you have like boardroom meetings as a GM, -o, like as a GM, stuff like that. I don't know. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna keep. Where's the trade deadline? Right there. Okay, so let's go to. I'm gonna. Oh, we're uh, yeah. You know what? Let's just go till February 1st. We only have a couple games here. We'll keep Rene in net. 
Um, I just I don't trust uh, Hoven in net. He's just not doing good at all. He's having a like a really bad year. Maybe I'll like selectively put him in against teams. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he's just not playing good. Like we'll we'll kind of look at our schedule and see who we're playing, and then I'll put him in net. If it's a really bad team, we'll put him in net. Like Ottawa, no, they're doing really good. MacArthur is sixteen goals, nice. Yeah, like we just oh nice we won. There we go. That's a big W for us. Big W. Hopefully Hagelin and Wilson start hooking up. That'd be great. I don't know. Wilson has the potential to be a really good player for us. What? I didn't skip the scouting. What the hell are you talking about? You kidding me right now? Shh, yeah, I still want to look at defensemen. I think. Uh, what do we got? We went to the we went to the dub, and we went to elite. I think. Yeah, we went to elite. Um, does anyone else have any Russia? Does no? The dub and the elite are usually like, like uh, Sweden is usually a great place to get defensemen. Sweden and the dub, dub just because a lot of defensemen are just so tough. I mean, you do get you do get defensemen from other places. Don't get me wrong. Like America or the U.S. Sorry, America. America. Uh, the U.S. usually has pretty good defensemen once in a while. Well, not once in a while, but. You know, like Truba coming out of the U.S. and stuff like that. So, Bogo, like Bufflin, like I'm just naming Jets players that I know. But like Chelios, you know, like there's good, there's good defense out of. Don't get me wrong. Um, but usually it's like the dub in Sweden. I don't know. <laughs> That's just my opinion, though. So, <laughs> yeah, let's go back there for. Oh wait, who's? Yeah, okay, that's good. Yeah, I don't know. Normally, that's where you get your guys from. All right, so let's selectively find a team that's doing terrible to put uh, what's his face in. Uh, Pittsburgh. Yeah, maybe we'll put him in against Pittsburgh. Yeah, we'll go here and then we'll put Hoven in and against Pittsburgh. I don't know. They're not. I don't know how Pittsburgh is doing so bad. Honestly, it doesn't make any sense to me. Zero silch. Zilch. All right, we're getting some W's here. That's good. Heglin, you gotta get some assists, bro. You're a playmaker. There we go. At least Heglin's putting up points now. He's got 31 points. It's, it's not the best, but it's okay. <laughs> All right, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, we lost. That's all right. Silverberg and Granlund are now hooking up. That's good. I feel like Fisher will be a, a nice help on that second line with Silverberg and Granlund. They're kind of younger guys. So Wilson and Hornquist now. Yeah, see, like, everyone's pitching in on our team. Nobody's really standing out. That's the, I think that's, like, the biggest issue is that we don't have one guy just kind of stepping up and leading our team right now. Um, like, I, I, I'm not going to complain because we're getting wins now. But, uh, yeah, we just don't have one person that's, like, you know, stepping up here. Uh, okay, so we'll play Pittsburgh with Hoven in. Selectively put him in against teams. Probably going to lose because he's, he's terrible. Oh, we won. Oh, my God. It's amazing. <laughs> I'm taking him out, though. I just want to give Rene a break. I don't know. If, uh, that was the other thing I used to like in uh, GM modes. Is Maybe I'll... I don't know. I'm thinking maybe I should do a wish list soon. It's early. Last year, I did it really uh, really late, I guess. Well, not really. I was one of the first ones to do a wish list. But, um, yeah, I did. I think it was like February or March. I think I should do it earlier this year. Like, I've played the game enough. I know what I want to see in the next gen. And honestly, like, there are some things that they could do that would make the game a lot better. Okay, who's another team that I can put? Uh, uh, I guess Toronto is the... Well, we'll see how they're doing by then, but... Put Hoven in against Toronto, maybe. There we go, there we go. Okay, we're getting some Ws. That's good. We could probably get 40 wins at this at this rate. We're we're definitely picking it up, which is good. Um, I don't know if we even need to actually trade for anybody. I mean, we still could. Um, I'd like to get a two a, a solid. I mean, we got Smith. Oh, we got killed by Winnipeg. We got Smith. Uh, I think it's Craig Smith on that uh, fourth line, who's like an 81 two way forward. He could move up under the third line for sure. And then if we traded uh, Hornquist and Stahlberg, we tra we try and get like a, an Evander Kane or the other guy I was looking at, like I said, was uh, Jeff Skinner, you know, an 86 sniper who's who's a class as a second liner, but he's got that potential, you know, to be like an all star. 
um, within a year or two. You get one of those guys, and then, you know, you get... I was trying to... I was thinking maybe, uh, you know, trade for one of those guys, plus try and get a two-way forward for that third line or something, you know, like a grinder or something. Or even, or, or even a fourth-line player, and then you move up Smith, right? And then you got your... Uh, you got your guys. You can put Fisher back on that uh, third line there, and uh, yeah, wow, we got 31 wins right now. We're doing. We got a nice little like win streak going on. Uh, we lost there, but uh, we've definitely picked it up. Yeah, that's for sure. Holy crap! When did we start? Uh, yeah, we started there. We got one, one and one, two and one, uh, two and two, three and two, four and two, four and three. Uh, five and three, six and three, six and four, seven and four, eight and four, nine and four, nine and five, ten and five, eleven and five, twelve and five, twelve and six, uh, thirteen and six, fourteen, fifteen. So we've been fifteen and six since we started again. That's really good. Okay, let's put. Uh, yeah, we can put uh, Hoven in here. We can afford to do that. I think. Hopefully he gets the win. I don't know. I think, again, like I said, I think selectively putting him in will be a lot better than just having the goalie rotation. Because I don't want to put him in against a really good team. Yeah, see, like, he let, he got, he let in four goals to Toronto. It's horrible. Absolutely brutal. Not, not saying Toronto's a bad team, but, you know, when you put a guy in against a struggling team, you expect him to get the win. It's not the case with this guy. <laughs> he doesn't do it. Uh, okay, the trade deadline's right here, so I'm going to just go up to it. All right, Ottawa. There we go, 5-3. Yeah, Wilson and Haglin look to be working together pretty solidly right now. So that is good. Um, but yeah, next-gen next gen NHL, I have a lot of good ideas. And maybe if we actually get those ideas out there early enough, like in December, you know, um, maybe they can actually take into account some of them and try and put them in place. Because I, I don't know, I expect a lot more from NHL now. You know what, it's, I don't know. I, I watched Deke, uh, Deke Soros Rex's video about the community yesterday, and yeah. what? How did we get two losses there? My god. Uh, okay, trading block. So, we're at the trade deadline. Players on the block, okay. Uh, I'm going to leave it the same right now. I'm going to leave it like that. Um, 32, 25, and 6. We need 8 wins to get... Our 40 wins, we got one, two, three, four, five. Oh, you know what? I don't know why I'm doing that. <laughs> I could just literally do the math. Uh, let's look at the standings right now. Uh, we're, sitting, we're sitting 14th. That's not bad. So we have uh, 63 games. So we have 19 games left. We need eight wins to get 40 to keep our owner happy. Um, I think we can win eight of 19. If we can't, then that's embarrassing. You know. Our goals for has gone up by like 0.2. Goals against has gone down because I've been putting Rennie in a lot more. Um, which is good because now our goals for is, a, is more than our goals against. We, before it was freaking, our goals against was under our goals for. Or, I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> our goals against was above our goals for, which was just not good. Power play has gone back up a little bit. We were at 14%, so it's definitely improved, which is good. We're kind of sitting on par with the, the teams around our area. I mean, if we had a that sniper, you know, that one sniper for our first line, it would probably help, but uh, PK-wise, 81.6. It's gone down. I don't know what to do with that PK. I thought we had pretty good uh, defensive players on that PK, but, I mean, there's obviously a bunch of teams that are not doing the greatest, like Anaheim. Look, at they're seventh, but they have 79.5, you know. I don't know. 17-13-1 uh, at home, 15-12-5 away. Our, our road record needs to improve, that's for sure. But, uh, player stats, alright. Do, 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 do. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Should I still go for, an, a, a, like, a Jeff Skinner or Vander Kane? And, like, a, a fourth liner, third liner? Um, I mean, I can, at the at the trade deadline, there's not rules for trading, so I can do whatever the frick I want, which is great. Uh, so 63 games played. Haglin's doing good. Wilson's doing, these guys have actually picked it up a lot, that's... It's good to see. Silverberg's got 38 points, which is uh, solid. Uh, Hornquist has 34. Granlin has 31. I'd like to s How did he do last year? Yeah, he hit 44 points last year. I don't want to see him get worse. Yes. Ryan Ellis has... He's doing really good, actually. He's got 31 points this year. 
Oh, I guess he's kind of on par for last year. I didn't even think about that. Sanguine, Andy Fisher's got 25, which he's probably going to drop. Um, he's another guy I could trade, potentially. Like, he's 35. He's getting older. I mean, he's not... Obviously, he's been playing a lot on the third line, but... Uh, Cerveni's got 25. Jones has 24. How is their plus minus? Wow, they're just not doing good together. I don't know what's going on. Ellis is a plus nine. Sanguinetti's a plus... Sanguinetti's on the third D pairing, and he's got 27 points. I mean, he's on the power play, obviously. Maybe that's where he's getting some points, but oh my god. Jones and Weber just aren't playing well. Um, and what is... I don't even know what Jones is classed at. Yosey has 19. Stalberg, like... Stalberg, you're just playing like crap, bro. Klein, uh, I mean, he's a defensive defender, but not doing a whole lot. <laughs> I'm happy that Hornquist has picked it up, but I still think he's got to go. Um, we need a de like a definitive first line uh, sniper, you know. Uh, goalie wise, Rennie Hovenden's actually picked it up a little bit. He was like 2.7 or something, which is god awful. Uh, Rennie's a 2.21, which is pretty solid still, but I've been playing him a lot more, obviously. Um, yeah, I mean, he could, there's room for improvement, but, I mean, 2.21 is not bad. Hoven in, uh, obviously needs to pick it up, but, I mean, I'm trying to put him in it selectively against crappy teams to see if he does anything. <laughs> uh, let's do progress reports, and we'll end it. Let me know about the trade deadline, what do you guys want to see? We could try and perform our, uh, quote, blockbuster trade this year if we wanted. Um, I don't know what, like, like I said, I could put Fisher in there too, but I just... I don't feel like I can get like a like I and when you mean blockbuster trade, I don't know if you're if you're talking like a I mean I would think a Vander Kane would be a blockbuster trade in the real life NHL, you know. But I mean I guess you could say like a or are you guys just like trying to say like a superstar like Stamkos or something like I don't think there's any way I could even try and get Stamkos. I'd have to trade my my top six forwards to try and get Stamkos, you know. So I don't know about that, but um I don't know. I still don't understand why Wilson's down there. That's stupid. He's like one of the top players on our team for points, and his stats still are going down. Doesn't make any sense. The other thing I don't like is that the statistical growth, it goes down, but it doesn't go back up. Like, like you can't have a minus and a plus, you know? Isn't that kind of weird? I find that weird. Like, yeah, like, for, in, for example, like, let's say, um, uh, no, that's not a good example defensively okay let's say defensively so he goes minus one in defense awareness however because he's a centerman he goes plus two in faceoffs. you know like i've never seen a player go minus and plus at all which makes zero absolutely zero sense like i mean some players get worse in areas but then they get better in other areas you know that's what i'm talking about um so it doesn't really make sense to me but whatever uh sonia they're not really improving at all. Forsberg, I don't know what the deal with Forsberg is, man. He's like he's like another uh, Barkov from last GM. Like he just doesn't get better. I'm thinking I might trade him. It's just not, he's not doing it. All right. Anyways, we're gonna end it there. Leave me some suggestions for the trade deadline. Do you guys want to see me go for a Vander Kane or like a Jeff Skinner for the first line? I think that'd be a good uh, a safe way to go. Uh, I just I don't want to give up our first round, you know. I mean, we're, we're sitting, even if we just squeeze into the playoffs, like we're 14th right now, so we'll still get like a mid, a mid first round pick, which would be solid, you know? I mean, we're, we're above Winnipeg right now, which is good in the division. Um, however, everyone else is above us, so like Calgary and LA would do the crossover, or Calgary or LA would do a crossover into our division, and then, yeah, like we need to stay above Winnipeg basically to make the playoffs. But the thing is, if we can squeeze in third, but still kind of stay below average on playoff, like we could, we could finish like dead last getting into playoffs, you know, and still make it in. That'd be fantastic. And then we get, you know, like still like a mid round pick. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.